is in full swing here in Nassau, Bahamas, and we're continuing our exciting discussions with Sandra Seely, CEO of the Fair Trading Commission in Barbados. Ms. Seely, thanks so much for joining us today. Thank you for inviting me. Well, we're going to start off really easy. Just tell us a little bit about the Fair Trading Commission. Well, the Fair Trading Commission was established in 2001. We are responsible for utility regulation, consumer protection, and fair competition. We regulate telecommunications, electricity, and water services in Barbados. Okay, so you are among several other regulators mm -hmm. here from all over the world. There are also providers here and others in the industry. Talk about how this conference is going for you and what the biggest takeaway has been so far. Well, this is not, I would say this is not my first GSR conference, but it's great that it is in the Caribbean because it allows a greater number of Caribbean utility regulators to be here and with that we get that interaction and we are able to meet and discuss common issues and this is really an excellent opportunity for us to do that and we, re we realize, I myself realize, that we have a lot of shared issues in the Caribbean and if we come together in these forums we are able to deal with them holistically. Now you are transitioning right into my next question. Barbados is a small nation like yeah. the Bahamas and all of our other mm -hmm. Caribbean brothers and sisters. Where do you all fit in in a symposium like this? What are you learning? What are you bringing to the table? I think we bring a lot to the table and it also highlights that us in the Caribbean, we have different issues to the bigger developed countries. Um, we, so we bring our own particular problems and those problems arise because we are small. Mm -hmm. So that is why it is good for us to be here. Now, is there anything that you could pinpoint of any of the sessions so far that has really helped with any particular issues back in Barbados? I would say the session, we just started. We only had the official opening yesterday mm -hmm. afternoon. But we recognize that there are several issues on the table that are of interest to Barbados, the issue of roaming mm -hmm. and seeing if we as a Caribbean, we are lots of islands scattered around along the Caribbean Sea and we're small but each time you travel from one island to the other island you pay a, a Roman charge and we, if we could eliminate that I think that would bring us as a Caribbean closer together so that's one thing we're looking at. We're also looking at the issue of um, over-the-top services and how they are influencing the traditional type of service providers so that, those are two main issues that I would think that this session and this forum will allow us to get information that will help us to deal with those issues. Okay, and being a small nation, talk about how organizations like ITU assist with the development of you know, the industry in your country. For example, here in the Bahamas, the Prime Minister just talked about yesterday that the partnership with ITU is assisting them with the Smart Island Initiative, which will eventually be the Smart Country Initiative. Yes. Has Barbados benefited from anything like this, or what are you looking forward to with the partnership with ITU? Well, it is interesting that you asked that question because it was just this morning that we had a meeting, a small meeting of the Caribbean and the representatives from the ITU, and we talked about that particular issue, where, how can we, what can the ITU do to help us in the Caribbean, and we know they, we Bar in Barbados have benefited from things like training, and that is, capacity building is something that we would also want to get, get benefits from ITU to help us grow and understand, because you would re realize that resources in the Caribbean, getting the proper resources is expensive. So resources to help us deal with the problems, human resources, those are some of the things that we hope we will get out of this conference and this forum. Oh, perfect, Ms. And, and also the interaction and the networking is, you cannot say how much that assistance that gives us to be able to network and know that there you can call on another person in another island who's having a similar issue to you and you can discuss it and maybe and get information to help you solve the problem. Right, I mean there are 400 yes. people here uh, from more than 80 countries. Yes. I think this is an excellent networking excellent opportunity. Excellent networking opportunity. Thanks so much Ms. Sandra Seely, CEO you. of the Fair Trading Commission yes. in Barbados. Thanks for joining us Thank and you. all the best with the rest of the conference. Thank you very much. Thanks. Okay.